The small sick case is one of the most game changing items you can buy or trade for in Escape from Tarkov and today we're going to be explaining the difference between the documents case and the sick case and most importantly how to get your hands on one of them. The first place we're going to be heading to is Jaeger and we're going to go through the traders here and we're going to head towards level 3. Now, unfortunately this trade comes in at level 3 so anytime before that you can't do this but it gives you an opportunity to save for the items required. Now one of the trades you also get when you get your hands on level 3 is also the trade for the Red Rebel which is decent at 15 propane tanks, 10 fuel conditioners and 15 defuel. If you save up all of these items you can actually get your hands on the RR for much cheaper than the current 6.5 mil that it is on the market. But obviously what you're here to see is the trade for the sick case, still also at Jaeger level three. We're gonna be looking at 10 paracord, 15 duct tape, 10 insulating tape and 12 packs of nails. This fluctuates at any sort of time, but the total price of all the items listed here is 2.2 mil. You know, you can actually make it, this trade for a little bit cheaper than the current market price coming in at 2.6 mil being the lowest listing. And this is obviously higher because people are trying to make a certain amount of markup and also the listing fee. Maybe you don't have the money to buy the sick case. You want to be able to find the stuff. And we're here on interchange. Now you check these back shelf here as fast as possible along here are some really good spots for the propane tanks as you can see here's one this is for the rr which is pretty brilliant but you can also get your hands on nails pack of nails while you're back here really good chance for them now we're going to push past the car battery spawns here which i talk about in some of my other videos obviously once again keeping an eye out on all these little flat shelves here as you can see is the first per one of the first parts of the uh sick case trade we have an insulating tape. Now, all of these shelves inside Ollie, every single one of them in these little gaps between them, not only have a chance at what you would say with something like the Expedition Fuel Tank, which is easy money. You've obviously got stuff like here uh, up top. You can find water filters and other things, but more importantly, we're looking for packs of nails. Now, every single one of these shelves throughout Ollie, every single gap in these has a chance to spawn nails. So you don't have to do this exact path that I'm doing right now. So you can come through in any sort of order, but check all these shelves. And sometimes you can miss them when they're up the top shelf as well. There's a pack of nails right there. As you can see that that is a major spawn for every single one of these shelves. And these packs of nails at the moment, I think about 45K. These are some of the things that start to add up when you're on the RR pick and also for the sick case trade. So if you want to get your hands on either of these, the back of Ollie is the place to be. So we're here at National on Interchange and you don't have to do this in this exact same store. But the rule is if you're looking for insulating tape and you want to save some money on tape, you can actually search all of these filing cabinets. There's about four inside National here, which are really good. And the shelves around the outside, including the jackets around this store in between these little gaps are really brilliant places to find insulating tape also normal duct tape and if also you are looking for propane tanks you also have a chance to get those inside filing cabinets as well. The most expensive part of the sick case is actually the paracord and the best place to find paracord is all around reserve. Now for the sake of time I'm not going to show you every single paracord spawn but just know that reserve has hundreds of paracord that spawn everywhere. A lot of them are in these bunkers located around the map so you can find them on top of these boxes. As you can see I found a paracord here. There's also a lot of like little cheeky spots and shelves that they spawn and keep an eye out on a lot of these blue lockers throughout the map, especially in the other bunkers. I've seen people pull two paracords in these as well and there's plenty of spots. So when you're on reserve next, keep your eyes peeled and also do some scav runs if you really, really need your hands on paracord. So firstly, why would you buy a sick case over a dox case when a dox case is so cheap? Now we're gonna have a look at the price of dox cases coming in at around 160 to 170,000 rubles at the moment. The difference between the two is the sick case has 25 slots and the dox case has 16 slots. Now listed here are all the items that can go inside the sick case not including keys because we both know that this can take any key card and any key in the game. Now I want you guys to understand the difference between the two is the different type of items that go inside each. Now the reason that what makes the sick case so great other than its larger size is its ability to take dog tags whereas the documents case can't. As you can see, I can put a dog tag inside this case. So when you're killing someone or doing anything like that, it allows you to gamma their, go their dog tag straight away without the need for something like a dog tags case. Now, the next part is obviously the items that go inside it. Something like the gold skull can go inside there and the pro kill medallion. Well, however, these two items cannot go inside the documents case. So a map like Shoreline, and the reason I specify Shoreline 
has a lot of rare items so sometimes like the gp coin and the bitcoin and also the flash drives from the hundreds of computers in there now the next part we're going to be looking at is the difference between the two and its ability to not take things like the intelligence folder now the intelligence folder like on maps like labs and the reason i specify labs is because labs are swarming with intelligence so sometimes running a sick case can be a bad idea on labs for a few particular reasons now you have to make that decision yourself because a lot of items like the Pro Kill Medallion and Golden Skull can spawn on labs. So then you're gonna lose that opportunity in the name of intelligence. But the thing is, intelligence is about 190K. So it's 190K for two slots. So you have to decide whether it's worth it or not, whether you run these. A lot of other items like the diary and the slim diary go inside there as well. But I, I wanna stress to you guys that that's not important because these don't spawn in raid anyway and also at the same time you have the sas drive which is once again something that goes in there but doesn't spawn in raid as well and we got items like the ssd which is once again unfortunately the same situation it doesn't really spawn statically around the place so it once again it's something that can go in the docs case sorry but it can't go inside the sick case so that's pretty cool you can also put maps in here now the reason I bring up maps is maps are really important for new players and uh, although you can obviously bring one up on your secondary monitor, once again if you are new this can really help out and the fact that it's cheaper allows you to access it earlier. So once again you have to make a conscious decision between what map and what one you use. For an example I always use a docs case when I'm on labs and sometimes when I'm intelligence hunting I'll take out my specific keys and go to reserve and look for intelligence if I really want to start running that scav case. The different cases are great for different maps, but the sick case is one of the most important purchases you can make for any map. And ideally you'll have one for each map full of keys and enough space for dog tags, also money and anything else you need to put inside there. Hey guys, that's it for this video. Hopefully this helped you decide whether you want to buy a sick case or not. And hopefully helped you guide you in the direction to get your hands on a sick case without paying full price. As always, I stream six days a week on Twitch. The link for that will be in the description down below. If you enjoyed this video in any sort of way, make sure you let me know in the comments down below. I always read them if you have any feedback about anything I said here. And as always, we'll see you on the next one.